Hey, happy Sunday. Woo! When I tell you what, things in the last 24 hours didn't really go the way I anticipated. So I got home yesterday from going out, you know, to Michael's and Hobby Lobby and all that. I get home and my son comes running out of the house. My younger son comes running out of the house with his one of his friends behind him. And he goes, Mom, I already told my friend he could spend the night. Is that okay? Like, what do you do with that? You kind of put on the spot. Now, I have talked to him before about doing that. Like, don't do that. Do not put me on the spot like that. Nothing had been said to me at all prior to this moment about anybody spending the night at my house. Nobody. No nothing had been said by anyone. Whoop. sure I don't run over anybody. Okay. I don't really like the way this parking lot is laid out. I'm at, I'm at Aldi right now. This par the parking lot here is weird. It's just, I don't, I don't like the way it's laid out. Um, I don't really know how they could have done it differently, but I just, I don't know. I feel like it could have been done differently. I don't like a lot of the parking lots in stores around, for stores around here. They're just, they're goofy. I know they lay them out in a, in a certain way to maximize the number of spaces or something, but I don't like them. The spaces are really narrow for one, and in some of them, the area you have to back up in to get out of that space is very small. And it's, mm, I think Harris Teeter's the worst. The Harris Teeter parking lots are god awful. They just give you a little bit of room. I mean, if you're in a smart car or if you're driving a roller skate, you're probably fine, but if you need to back up anything else, good luck to you. You're probably going to bump somebody. It's about unavoidable. So, I just had to go to Aldi. They drank up all my water bottles yesterday. His friend is really nice, but he drinks like a fish. I've never seen anybody drink so much water in my life. They drank up all my water bottles. I had bottled, you know, like gal a gallon thing of water in there. They drank almost all of that. I had barely enough to put into my little refillable water for my exercise class today. Um... His friend left around lunchtime. The whole downstairs of my house was trashed. And But my son knows when you do that, I'm not going to lift a finger to clean it. You're going to clean it until it is cleaned up to my satisfaction. You're going to sweep. You're going to mop. You're going to pick up. You're you going to fix this. Because my living room did not look like a frat party took place in it before. And it's not going to look like that after. He has spent all... He has spent the last three hours cleaning up down there. I don't care. You take all day. I don't care how long it takes you. He doesn't complain, though, because he knows. He said, I tried to get him, my friend to help me clean up. Like, that is not my problem. He wouldn't help clean up. That is not my problem. That is a, that is a you problem, son. I'm not cleaning this mess up. And we had just swept and mopped everything down there. And now the floor, I don't know what they were doing. It looked like they were trying to paint a mural on the floor with chocolate chip chewy granola bars. Like, there were bits of granola bars everywhere. Chocolate chips. And just, like, what were y'all doing? Were you trying to paint on the floor? Why does it look like that? God. Granola bar wrappers, water bottles, just generic trash all over the place. His friend is very nice, but he's very messy. You can tell he's never been taught to clean up after himself. Whenever he's done with something, he just drops it on the floor. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what it is. Paper towel, napkin, candy bar wrapper, gum wrapper. He just drops it on the floor. I'm a damn. I don't know. Mm -mm. No. No. My son was amazed. He said, Mom, he just dropped stuff on the floor. I said, yeah, we don't do that. Do we? No, we don't do that. Yeah, there's a reason we don't do that because it's it's messy and that's how you get bugs and I, I it's messy and I don't want ants and roaches that's why we don't do that but he was your guest so you gonna have to clean it up so he's been working on that so I was not expecting that I did not get another video made last night the one that I posted yesterday was one I made several days no actually the one I posted yesterday I made the day before the one that's going to publish later today I made probably a week ago. I have a couple of extra videos, fortunately, because 
when whenever his friend comes over, this well, he has several friends, but this one in particular, they get so rowdy and loud downstairs on the you know playing Xbox or whatever, and they like to make these little video clips, which I encourage because it's very creative what they do. They'll take my son's plushies, like he has these Five Nights at Freddy's plushies from when he was younger, and they take them down there and they make up these little storylines and they make little videos of these characters going on adventures, which I think is cool as hell that they do that. But they get kind of loud when they're doing that. But it's, it's really cool. It's very creative. So I don't have a problem with it. But they get loud. So anyway, I did not get a video made, an extra video made yesterday. And they off and on kept waking me up last night until about 4 a.m. And at 4 a.m. I just lost it. I just, I had had enough. I have not had enough sleep. And I finally just called my son upstairs and I said, okay, y'all are going to sleep now. Your mom, we're not, you're going to sleep. You keep saying you're going to be quiet. You can't be quiet. You keep waking me up. You're going to sleep now. And I think they did. I didn't hear any more out of them after that. But to get woken up every half hour or so all night, it was making me grumpy. So anyway, I was not expecting that. Oh, and then, oh, this really, I got so mad at myself. So then I went to an exercise class this afternoon. I just, I just uh, left there. I had to go to this class. And I, I got there and I opened the trunk to get my stuff out. And you know what I felt? You know what was in the trunk? I was so pissed at myself. So what I did was yesterday, I went by Wendy's to pick up a couple of burgers for them for lunch yesterday. And while I was at it, I was being really, I was being really efficient. I went to Lidl, which was right across the street. I went to Lidl right afterwards and bought three frozen pizzas and I was gonna take them home. When I got home with the Wendy's, I forgot the damn pizzas were in the trunk. Forgot all about it. I totally just forgot about them. So I found them this afternoon when I opened my trunk. Like, shit. They're completely thawed. I had to throw them out. Like, I don't want to make three pizzas when I get home. I mean, they've, they've been thawed out for too long anyway. I wouldn't cook them now anyway. That You know, I don't think they're safe to eat. Because they've been in there all night and they've been in a hot car all afternoon. No, I threw them out. I was so damn mad at myself. I, I have to say, though, I have not done that. That's probably the first time in, God, 10 years. Probably the first time in a decade I've done that. So, I'm mad at myself, but it's like, you know, it's not something you do very often. So, don't worry about it. I just, I forgot all about it. Somehow, I, by the time I got home, I forgot they were back there man. So anyway, I'm stopping by. I'm going to go by Lidl again and get some more of these pizzas because they, they do have these pepperoni pizzas that are really good. I just hate that I wasted three of them. Man. But I will definitely remember they're back there this time because I also have some Aldi stuff back there. I had to stop and get several things at Aldi. They ate up all of my sliced cheese, my hot dog buns. They they were, they depleted my stash of several things last night. Apparently they were very hungry. I made them. We had corn on the cob and popcorn chicken and celery with ranch last night. That wasn't good enough. No, they were still hungry. So, <sighs> anyway, I wasn't planning on having an extra kid at my house last night, but He's a nice kid. He's just, he just wasn't ever trained to, you know, clean up after himself. And it was like, he has another friend and this, this drives me crazy. And I will tell them flat out now in this house, I understand, you know, your house, you do this, but when you're in my house, when you have trash, put it in the trash can. And when you eat the granola bars, if they drop pieces on the floor, you need to pick them up and throw them away. Don't leave them on the floor. Okay. And then they proceed to never do it. You can tell them over and over. They just never do it. He has another friend that puts his hands all over the glass storm door and the glass sliding door. Like to open it for some reason, he has to just put his hands right on the glass, which just, ooh, it just scrapes my spine to see anybody, especially kids, put their fingers on the glass. I, I taught both of my kids to, you don't do that because it leaves little fingerprints all over the glass. Every time you touch it, it leaves your greasy little fingerprints on it. You don't, and there's no need to do it anyway. To open the sliding door, you grab the handle and you pull it. 
That's all you got to do. There's no reason for you to ever touch the glass. Grab the handle. That's why it's there. Pull the door open. Now, his friend will come over. He puts his hands on the door and slides it open like that. There's a damn handle right there, son. I, sh I have shown that kid probably 20 times. Look, don't put your fingers on the glass. Use the handle to open the door. Slide the storm door, same thing. He'll put his hand right on the door and then grab the handle. There's no, there's no damn reason to put your hand on that glass. Damn it. I'm going to start making these kids clean my, my glass. Like, okay, well, here you go. Here is a rag and some Windex. Have at it. You're going to get your little grimy fingers, your little Cheeto stained fingerprints off my glass. Just chaps my ass. I can't stand that. So my kid, I always made sure to teach my kids, do not put your fingers on the glass. There is no need to do it. And if you don't remember, then you will get to clean it. And I'll, I've made them clean it. Like, all right, well, you're going to clean. You see it? Look, at, come here. You see that? You just did that. Now you're going to clean it off. You make them clean it a few times. They're a little more mindful of it. It sticks with them longer. But it amazes me how many people, and I know it's anecdotal, and I know not everybody does it, but it amazes me the number of people who don't teach their children just basic stuff. You know, if you make a mess, clean it up. I heard my son say something to his friend early, early this morning. I don't think they slept much at all. But I, I was coming down the stairs and I overheard my son say to him, there are chocolate chips on the floor. And his friend goes, yeah, I see that. And he goes, who do you think is going to clean that up? You saw they were there. Who did you think was going to clean that up? And I've said the exact same thing to him. He's like, that's my line. That's what I say. It's a good point, though. Because whenever my kids leave a mess, I will go, do you see this mess? I see it. Were you aware this mess was here? Yes, I was. Who do you think was going to clean it up? What was the thought process behind you walking away from that mess? Who do you think was going to clean it up? I don't know. I know you're not going to say me. I'm not going to clean it up. And I know people who think I'm too hard on my kids. I've had people tell me that. You're too hard on them. You shouldn't, you know, you're being kind. Don't you think you're being a little, a little harsh? No, I don't. I absolutely don't. I think people are too slack with their kids. And, I, and again, it's anecdotal, but it seems to be worse with boys than girls. If he has a friend over that's a girl. And again, it's, total, it, it's totally anecdotal. But they don't seem to do that like the boys do. I've noticed that. The girls are a little bit more mindful of not, of not leaving messes. But the boys leave messes. They just, they just, I don't know, man. They just do. And I've tried to get across to them, okay, I understand that, you know, in your house you do whatever, but when you're at my house, we clean up after ourselves in my house. We don't, we don't leave messes around. But I guess they're just so used to doing it, they don't think about it. I don't know. I don't know, but it irritates me. And it, it sucks, too, because this kid is actually really nice. Um, he's, he's very polite, but he just, I don't know, he just doesn't clean up after himself at all. Like, at all. So, but anyway, I, I need to get in here. I'm going to go in here to Lidl. I'm going to try again to get some frozen pizzas and get them home and not leave them in the car. I'm, I, you know, every time I come here to get pizzas, I'm going to remind myself of that. I'm going to beat myself up about that for an inappropriate period of time. I will be doing it a year from now if the world hasn't collapsed and I'm still here. I will still be... I'll, every time I pull up here, I'm going to go, hey, you remember that time you left those pizzas in the trunk and you had to throw them away? Remember that? I will still be thinking about it. Oh, I can't drink water. I've forgotten how to... I've forgotten how to drink out of a container. <laughs> Damn. I still remember this one time, and this was about probably 20 years ago, and I st it still bugs me. About 20 years ago, I went to an ATM. It was in another town. I went to an ATM, and I got out $20. And then I, I was headed home, and I went home. And when I got home, I didn't have the $20. And I, I checked my pockets. I checked my purse. I checked the car. Like, did it fall down in here somewhere? I went back to the ATM. I looked around. I thought, well, if you dropped it here, somebody's picked it up. For sure. But I went straight back to the ATM. It was I never found that $20. It just disappeared. 
And I still, if I don't go to the ATM much because I don't carry cash really, but if I ever have to go get money out, that's the first thing I think. Hey, you remember that, that time about 20 years ago you got $20 out and you lost it? You remember that? You had that $20 bill and then you lost it. You remember that? It's like my brain just likes to torture me something. Like, stop it. Yes, I remember. No, I don't I don't know what happened to it. It just it just vanished. Somewhere between the ATM and home, it just disappeared. I, I to this day do not know where it went. I never found that twenty dollars. Maybe I thought I got it in my pocket and it fell and it didn't go in my pocket and I dropped it on the ground and somebody picked it up. That's probably what happened. If I had to guess, I'd say that's what happened. But I don't know. I just like to torture myself, I guess. But uh, I got a lot to do today. I got to go home. I'm going to get my son. I'm going to go home and make sure he swept the entire downstairs. I'm going to get him set up with a mop and a bucket. I'm going to have him mop the whole downstairs. And get, make sure all the chocolate chips and granola bits are up off the floor. And I'm going to get him to sweep and mop everything. I'm going to have him do some vacuuming down there. All the rugs need to be vacuumed. I'm not doing it. No, and I had, I'm not going to say who, but I did have a relative one time that I was talking to about this who told me I was being too hard on my boys. Oh, they're just boys. Like, no, no, nuh -uh. no, I don't, I don't care what, what, no, that's not, has nothing to do with this. Um, the kind of boys will be boys attitude, uh, uh no. These boys will one day grow up to be adults who need to understand that it is not somebody else's job to clean their shit up. It's not somebody else's job to tidy up behind them. It is their job to make sure things are cleaned up. If they have a guest over and the guest makes a mess, it is their job to clean it up. It's that simple. Don't care if they're boy. Them being boys has nothing to do with anything. But that's neither here nor there. I don't base my opinions and life decisions on other people. So, uh... Yeah, and then I'm going to go out and try to get the backyard mowed because it's actually looking like it might rain today. I'm pretty sure it's going to rain tomorrow, so I can't do it tomorrow. And I have this one video I want to do. I, it will not be uploaded today. I'm not quite sure when it will be uploaded, but I made a video, a video, blah, a video in Goodwill of the ring display where they had all these rings. And I'm going to do, I'll have to do a voiceover because I was up by the register, it was noisy, and there was loud music. So, I want to get that video done today as well. And of course, I'm in the Wordscapes tournament because it's the weekend, but I haven't, I haven't had much time to play. So, I'm so far behind, like I've just lost my desire to even bother with it anyway. Uh, so, I have a lot to do. And then, tomorrow's Monday and start all over again. So... Thank you so much for watching. I hope your weekend has been good. I hope it has been peaceful if you wanted it to be peaceful. If you wanted it to be productive, I hope it's been productive. If it's been fun, I hope it's been fun. And thank you so much for being here. Um, and I will see you again soon.